A deer in the headlights. We've all heard that analogy. Someone who is so petrified by the fear of oncoming cars that they stand there like a deer, transfixed for the car to run over them. A lot of that's going on in the country right now. A lot of us are afraid, transfixed like a deer in the headlights of the oncoming Trump administration. And it's still very new car. One of the architects of that fear is Steve Bannon, who grew up about five blocks away from me. Steve Bannon was an altar boy at St. Paul's Church, so was I. Steve Bannon was in eighth grade at St. Paul's School when I was in kindergarten. And Steve Bannon graduated as an officer from Benedictine Military Institute eight years before I did, taught by the gentle monks of Belmont Abbey, North Carolina. Benedictine monks whose motto, work and pray, is full of compassion and not fear. A compassion that sadly my hometown boy, Steve Bannon, seems not to have learned. He is helping the Trump administration govern by fear. During those days when I was going to St. Paul's School, St. Paul's Church, and Benedictine, I would have breakfast every morning with my grandma in Richmond, Virginia. And on her wall in her kitchen were two pictures, one of Franklin Delano Roosevelt and one of Jesus Christ. And I asked her once, Grandma, if there was a fire and you could only save one of those pictures, which one would it be? And she said, well, I tell you, son, Jesus Christ walked on water, so I imagine that he could get out of a fire. I'm going to save the picture of FDR. Because to her, FDR was a president who led his country, not out of fear, but out of compassion. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt famously said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And never has presidential advice been more needed than now. For with the Trump administration, we members of the LGBT community, actually every American, everyone on earth, has nothing to fear but the fear that is being preached by the Trump administration. There is a meanness about the Trump administration that is unprecedented in American history. When I was a student like Steve Bannon at Benedictine, we had a system called your senior and your freshman. And when I was a freshman, I had a senior, Larry Branch, who looked out for me, who made sure that I wasn't hazed too heavily, that I wasn't teased, that I had nothing to fear from the older, more mature boys. Again, a lesson that Steve Bannon seems not to have learned. During these days of fear and darkness, we need to learn not to fear fear itself. We learn, we need to learn how not to be the deer in the headlights. For if we cannot get beyond our fear, find a way to dialogue with those people who voted for Donald Trump, if we cannot find a way to get beyond our fear of what Trump is trying to do, we will be caught in the headlights of that on-rushing car. Don't give in to fear. Give in to compassion. Give in to love. And with those two tools, give in to resistance every day and every way to make sure that the presidency of Donald Trump and Steve Bannon is as short as legally possible. This is David Perry.